So when we're talking about trying to understand God and trying to relate to him, we first and foremost must allow the scriptures to give us the um, the data to work from. But when we're talking about ontology, then it becomes necessary to recognize that there are different names and titles. And in this discussion of ontology, when we're talking about Trinity, then we could begin to recognize that there's ontological aspects to the Trinity, but then there are also what um, theologians term economic aspects to the Trinity. So there's ontological Trinity and economic Trinity. Now, what do we mean by ontological and economic? Well, in my commentary, um, later on, we are going to uh, uh, look at those titles directly, ontological Trinity and economic Trinity. But for now, let me just um, give you kind of an overview of this idea of economic Trinity. So look at this. Here's what I say in my commentary. Observe. All of what the word God implies, right, capital G-O-D, is not exhausted in the use of the words His Son, and all of what the name Yeshua implies is not exhausted in the term the Father, and all of what the term Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit, implies is not exhausted in the phrase the man Yeshua, and so on and so forth. So are you beginning to understand, you guys are familiar with this little um, Trinity shield, um, the Father is God, the Son is God, the Holy Spirit is God. And we got these labels between the terms God, Son, and Holy Spirit, and these um, connecting terms is between all of those labels, those person names. But at the same time, there's these other um, labels, and you can I'm going to put a little graphic on the screen here for those of you who can't follow along with what I'm saying. Um, there's these other uh, branches that are connecting these terms Father, Son, and Holy Spirit that say is not. And what we are beginning to understand is that God the Father is not God the Son. And God the Son is not God the Holy Spirit. And God the Holy Spirit is not God the Father. So the Father is not the Son. The Son is not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not the Father. And we can just keep going around and around in that discussion. But yet... The Father is God, the Son is God, the Holy Spirit is God. So that's how we balance the ontology of God with the economy of God. The ontology deals with what God is and the nature of his being, and the economy it deals with the roles and functions that God plays, not just in the universe, but in humanity. And uh, uh, so uh, that's where we begin to appreciate the, um, the, the uh, complexity of this God. So uh, let's keep reading my um, commentary. We'll start right there. We cannot, cannot logically collapse each name, phrase, and title into the others without what? Doing damage to the import of the scriptural references. I go on to say, indeed, to attempt to do so is to approach the scriptures from an incorrect mindset. If we think that we've got to prove from the Bible that God is one and that there cannot be three persons, there cannot be any economy of persons who are working together, a functioning in humanity and through salvation history together, well then we're forcing God into our own model. We're forcing God into our own box. We're forcing him into a fit that he simply can't be forced into.